This video is sponsored by DroneQuote. So we recently got solar panels installed on our house and I wanted to share with you the process we went through to decide on if and why we wanted solar panels, finding an installer, the actual installation process that we had to go through, and of course the big one, cost and eventual savings. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please hit like and get subscribed. So we built our house a little over a year ago and we live out in the woods, so there is no natural gas here. So because of that, our house is completely powered by electricity. We could have gotten propane, but it wasn't something that we were really into. We ended up going with a geothermal system for that, which is its own whole video. But because of that, our stove, our dryer, everything in the house is fully electric. And while originally we had two gas cars, we now have one electric car and one gas car. So having a fully electric house, it seems like a pretty easy and obvious decision to go with solar. The original plan was to cover the entire house, including our heating and cooling which is geothermal. The geothermal has its own panel, but if we could put everything onto one panel and use the solar for that, that would be great. It turns out though that the geothermal uses way too much energy and the cost per kilowatt hour on that, it actually has its own rate and it's really cheap. It's like somewhere around one cent per kilowatt hour. Uh, so solar didn't make sense with that. So we ended up going with just covering our residential. So the first step after you decide you're interested in solar is of course finding a company to do the install, which can be pretty difficult. That's where today's sponsor comes in, Drone Quote. It's a veteran owned company and and they are solar experts. You can do everything online with them through their website. They can send someone out, take pictures of your roof with a drone. You don't have to interact at all. Perfect for what's going on today with the social distancing. They can then get you quotes from multiple installers, get you the best rate, and then you have those pictures from before, which is really cool. So if the installers mess something up or you think something isn't right with your roof after the installers are done and the installers can fix anything they may have messed up. They also have a few nice tools on their website and more are coming soon. So check out the link in the description if you're interested in that. For me, I was very lucky. I actually had a friend who I was talking to and I just mentioned, uh, I'm thinking about solar and they're like, oh, I have some panels and they recommended me to Solar King, uh, which is a company that only pretty much works in Michigan. And I did a little more research and they had nothing but great reviews. So I called them up and I had them come give me a quote and this was well over a year ago before I even got my electric car and their original quote actually wasn't great. Now for almost anybody over 10 or 20 years, you are saving money with solar. There's no question about it. But the question is, do you want to spend that big chunk of change now to get your eventual payoff? And for me at the time with that original quote, our electric bill was around $150 or so. And the loan payment that they could get me, the best one they could get me, was somewhere around $175, $180. And at the time, I just wasn't comfortable. I didn't want to pay more uh, to really get no benefit for, you know, 10 years. I didn't want to give up that big amount of money and take out a loan. And so I told them, you know, let me get my electric car first. Let's revisit this, you know, in a little bit. So then almost exactly around a year later, you know, I have an electric car. I'm driving that about 70 miles a day. And our electric bill went up about $50 a month with the electric car, which was a savings over gas. Um, but even after we got the electric car, our bill was going up a lot. And uh, I was trying to figure out what's going on because, you know, if I could limit usage and just reduce my bill, then, you know, that's great. And it turns out our electric company actually raised our rates a lot last year. So the raising rates, along with having an electric car, having a baby, doing more laundry, things like that, we just were using more electricity and it was costing us more to use. So I had Solar King come back out and give me another quote. And this time their quote covered just our residential. So everything in our house besides our geothermal heating and cooling. And we had to get a really big system, but this time the loan payment came out to almost exactly the same as we were paying monthly for electricity. So there was really no negative to getting this installed financially right off the bat. So with that, it was a really big decision. Our system was about $38,000 before the federal rebate. So what did I get for that $38,000 or $28,000 after the federal rebate? Well, that is a full solar panel array, 14.4 kilowatts to cover all of our electricity. I actually reached out to Matt from the channel Undecided. If you haven't seen his channel, you should check it out. And he broke it down to a price per watt, which is a way to compare solar systems from different companies. My price per watt was $2.67, which was a great rate. He told me the Michigan average is actually $3.29, so I was getting a really good deal. We went ahead and did it. The other benefit with that is, you know, there's currently the 26% federal rebate you get with solar, and you can use that over two years. So if you can't use the full amount the first year, you can then use whatever's left over the year after for your taxes. Well, we signed up back in the beginning of March, and as you can probably guess, uh, everything got shut down. We're still under kind of a lockdown, 
but they have opened up small construction projects. So that did allow the company to come out and install the panels. If you're in Michigan and interested in solar, uh, I have a referral code for you from Solar King. If you use that, we both get $250. And if you're anywhere that wants solar from Tesla, I also have a referral from them where we each get $350. Now Tesla will not install panels in Michigan, which is why I didn't go with Tesla. They will install the Tesla solar roof if you're looking for that. Uh, but my roof was brand new, so it didn't make sense. So after waiting weeks and weeks, finally they were able to come install our solar panels. Now I will say uh, my only complaint in this whole process was communication was not great. So I was told, yeah, they'll be out Friday and they'll work Friday and Saturday. Your panels will be up and then you get your inspection and then DTE, the energy company comes out, changes your meter and then you're off, you're making energy from the sun. Well, the install ended up taking like four or five days um, and it was a lot more involved than I realized. Um, they were wiring through the attic and doing all these things so they were coming in and out of the house and and that's fine I don't mind you know if that's part of the process I, I'm all for it But pretty much none of that was communicated to me um, So it was a really stressful uh, few days while that was going on I was coming home from work early one of the days because it was just so much chaos going on and you know If that had been communicated to me again, th that's fine if that's part of the process um, But it was difficult to kind of be surprised with that to be fair They told us our roof is really steep and so that made the install process harder, uh, but I really appreciate it it. The guys did a really great job. They really knew what they were talking about. These guys were definitely experienced. One other surprise you can see on the back of the house, there's a whole bunch of panels. And then on the side of the house, there are some more panels. The original plan was to have all the panels on the back, but because of some code that needed uh, a walking space, I think for firefighters, if they had to go up there, they couldn't fit all the panels on the back. They had to put some on the side, but it works out. The back of the house is facing south southwestish, and then the side of the house is facing south. There will be no shade at all on the back of the house. The side of the house near the end of the day will get a little bit of shade. So our payoff period is looking between eight and 10 years. It depends on how fast we pay off the loan. If we paid totally in cash, it would be eight years. If we do not pay early on the loan at all, it'll be closer to 10 years payoff. The other thing you can do with this company, and I'm sure a lot of companies offer this, when you get your federal tax credit back, you can re-amortize and you can put that full tax credit or half the tax credit or whatever you want really into the loan and it'll reset your payments to that new amount. So we could take our 26%, put it back on there and it would drastically reduce our electric payments. And if we do that, then our loan payment is way less than our electric bill would ever be every month. The system is working. The only problem is because the meter hasn't been updated, the meter can't tell the difference between electricity going into the house and out of the house. So any electricity that we send out that we're not using, we'll get charged for as if we were using it. Uh, so we don't want to do that because during the day we are making a lot of power. You can see here I peaked somewhere around negative eight kilowatts. This is actually when our dryer was running and I think the dryer uses about five kilowatts. And then I started charging my car. So I was charging my Tesla at full speed at 32 amps. We were also running the dryer and we were getting negative electricity. So we were able to produce more than we were using and send just a little bit back to the grid. So now we're in the process of waiting for our inspection. Unfortunately, the inspectors right now are working from home. Uh, they were telling us that some inspectors are doing Zoom to do the inspection. Some are only coming to the house if the homeowner's not home, which I don't know exactly how you do that because they got to come in the basement. I guess you leave the door unlocked, which is kind of weird. Um, but for our city, uh, the installer actually doesn't know what they're doing yet. Uh, they haven't done any installs in this city during lockdown. Uh, but when I do drive around, I'm noticing now I'm seeing solar all over the place, which, you know, again, in Michigan, I was, I was pretty surprised by that. With this, our bills should be pretty close to zero. There are some charges you have to pay for distribution. And while Michigan does have net metering, it's not as good as it used to be, uh, but hopefully that'll be back soon. There are some people in the Michigan government that are working to get the better net metering rates back. We also figure over time, we may end up using a little more electricity uh, just as things go. If we have another kid, and I hope that we have two electric cars eventually, just because they're much more convenient. When I originally got my Tesla, I actually thought I was inconveniencing myself a little bit, getting an electric car and kind of making that sacrifice for a cool, technologically advanced car that could kind of drive itself and, and do all that. Uh, but now that I have an electric car, uh, me and my wife both really love it and we'd love to have two. Um, they're just a little too expensive still at this point, but eventually that's a hope and then we'll be glad we got such a big solar system. And then the other one that really pushed me over the edge was seeing our electric rate increase so much and knowing that the power company is looking to do this all the time, they do increase their rates, of course, from time to time, everything gets more expensive. Um, but with this, it, it doesn't, you know, we have our loan, we pay our loan and that's it. We don't have to pay for electricity. We don't care about their rate increases. Um, and even if over time we end up using a little more power, 
then our bill will still be really low. So I will throw out some negatives that we did consider. You gotta be realistic here, nothing is perfect. The first thing is that this is just a really expensive decision. Getting a loan, you can put zero down, you don't have to put anything down, which is great. Um, but then you have a loan, which you know is never good, you don't want debt if you can avoid it. Um, but because the payment was the same as our electric bill, we went with it, and we're also, again, really looking forward to that tax credit. Uh, that really also pushed us over the edge. There really is no guarantee on the amount the solar system will produce. Now, if something is wrong, then of course the solar company will come out and they will fix it, or they will try to get it fixed. But if we had like a super cloudy year for some reason or something, you know, really strange that happened, it's not like they're gonna be like, oh, we're sorry that, you know, there were extra clouds, we'll give you some money back or something. It's just kind of one of those risks you're gonna take. And then you gotta think about your roof. If your roof isn't new, uh, you probably don't wanna put panels on it because then you have to pay to take them off, get your roof redone put them back on. We don't plan on moving anytime soon. That's another consideration you have to make. If you think you may be moving within the next five to 10 years, you probably don't want to do this. Now, solar does raise the value of your house, but you know, how much? And if you have a loan at the time, you probably have to pay that off before you sell the house or try to make an agreement that the buyers of your house will either pay off the loan for you or take over the loan, something like that. But it would be pretty attractive, right? If you're looking at a house and they say, oh, we don't have an electric bill. And then I suppose if there's some type of damage to the panels for some reason, you'd have to pay for repairs for that or replacement of the panels. I don't know what would really happen, maybe hail or something, but the panels aren't all that fragile. They're pretty tough. So it shouldn't be a problem, but you know, it's another thing that you have to consider that you're responsible for that you have to maintain. So I'm really excited for our inspection and to finally get these things turned on every day when it's sunny out. I'm driving my wife nuts because I'm just like, it's a wasted sun, it's not doing anything and it could be you know, making us money, giving us energy, doing all that stuff. So I will be doing a lot of videos on these solar panels. I wanna answer questions for everybody. So if there's anything in this video that I left out or things you're curious about, let me know. Make sure to check out Drone Quote or Solar King or Tesla. Man, there's a lot of <laughs> affiliate links in this video. And I look forward to updating you, you know, when the panels are on after two months or so, I'll do an update and let you know how it is. Our bill hopefully is gone. Last thing, if you're a fan of the channel or you've been around, uh, let me know, give me feedback on the new, you know, obviously there's a lot of new stuff going on here. Trying to up the quality for you guys. New camera that I'm talking on right now. Uh, did some upgrading in the background. More to come, I believe. Uh, but yeah, give me some feedback on that. I'd really appreciate it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to talking to y'all down in the comments. So Autopilot and I are happily driving along 